Hi Interior UK, I'm Ines from Studio Ines and welcome to my Victoria project. So for this project, we had a lovely client who just purchased their pocket home and it's basically a one bedroom apartment. The brief was to add a lot of drama, a lot of color, a lot of layers and textures. They specifically wanted a space that they could entertain in, but at the same time, you know, come home from a long day of work and just feel like they're in a luxury boutique apartment. For the living room space, as it opens up into the kitchen, the first thing that we wanted to do was to create a beautiful backdrop. So we opted out for Fire and ball hay blue on the walls and on the ceiling, which just created a really great base to layer everything else up. Sometimes people might be a little bit skeptical about using dark colors in small spaces, but because we have the luxury of a lot of natural daylight, and also, you know, I think adding dark, sp dark colors into smaller spaces make everything just a bit more sophisticated and luxury. Next, we layered it up with this really beautiful, rich velvet sofa, which just looks amazing against the dark backdrop. For the coffee table, the client wanted something where he could just put his feet up, but also at the same time, great for entertaining. You can add a really nice tray, dress it up with really nice books. And we went for this beautiful fabric from Linwood and used the same material that we used on the sofa for the piping just to add a little bit of connection. Rugs play a huge impact in how a space looks. Because we are using dark colors on the walls and the ceiling, uh, we wanted to make sure that whatever's on the floor kind of lifts the room up a little bit, which is why we went for this really beautiful rug. And then we just paired it up with really great accessories and cushions and florals that just kind of complete the space. We made sure that we had like a color scheme, so things of, you know, mustard and brass and, and wood, just to add that warmth into the room. It was really important to kind of create that environment where it is cozy and it is relaxing. And I think with interiors, it's not just how something looks, but it's also how it makes you feel. So for the kitchen, of course, as it opens up into the living space, we wanted it to flow but at the same time to have its own moment so what we decided is that we would go for really dark cabinet and pair it up with a nice marble countertop but then add some dimension by including these beautiful turquoise crackled glaze tiling and some warm walnut shelving um, but even the shelving you know it has these beautiful curves and and lines to them which just adds that kind of you know, that warmth, that luxury uh, feel in the space. Another important thing that I think just elevates your kitchen is by adding art. Uh, we sourced this really beautiful piece from Mel Barrett and also these really beautiful ceramic plate from Gaz Ceramics. Um, and I just think, you know, adding those unique pieces into your kitchen just helps elevate it. For the master bedroom, it was really important for our client that he wanted to walk in here and just feel completely relaxed. He wanted the space to feel like a boutique hotel, but also very dark and very cozy and very warm and sophisticated. We continued that sort of color scheme in the living space into here. And we wanted to add this really beautiful walnut paneling as a backdrop for the bed and then layer it up with some beautiful cushions and some textures and some colors that just helps elevate the space a little bit more. Because it's not a huge bedroom, we still wanted to add a dresser and um, a wardrobe and bedside tables, but we just had to be a little bit smart with how we went about it. So for instance, we opted out for a floating dresser. This just creates a bit more space in the room and we continued with the wall paneling um, which is reflected on the other side of the room and a beautiful round brass mirror. And I just, I love this space because it's, you know, it's beautiful, it's, it's, it's small, but you know, it adds that kind of luxury to, to the room. Lighting plays a huge impact when we're designing and it's very important for us to have kind of light 
bounce from every corner of the room. So we have these beautiful wall lights on either side of the bed and, you know, just a beautiful uh, table lamp here on the dresser as well. So for the bathroom, like I said, the client wants to feel like they're in a boutique hotel. We want to avoid, you know, a typical white marble uh, flooring and, and shower walls. So we went with this really beautiful matte effect, black marble with just, you know, really lovely, minimal veining, nothing too dramatic. But what I really like about this is that every veining is different. So it creates this really unique, beautiful pattern. And I just think it goes really, really well with the dark colors on the walls, but also like the elements of brass that we've added throughout the space. And yeah, I just think, you know, it's a small space, but again, you can use dark colors in small rooms. It's just how you combine it with other materials and the lighting that you include in the space. My advice would be to gain as much experience as you possibly can, whether it's during university or after university, whether you're taking a short course, you know, try and gain as much experience uh, working in studios and showrooms, small businesses, big practices. Learning is the best way to understand the interior design industry, you know. Travel, go to beautiful hotels, go to nice restaurants, look at everything, see how everything is placed together, colour schemes, um, constantly ask why, why things are done the way they are, why a scheme is put together the way it is. I think, you know, learning from your peers and learning from people that have maybe years of experience ahead of you is the best way to, to grow in this industry. My favorite trend at the moment, I wouldn't call it a trend, but I think more of my style, is a mixture of maximalism, um, eccentric style, but also pairing it back. I think having that kind of beautiful combination of adding layers to a space, adding color and drama and texture, you know, that's, I think that's more of, of, of a style that I really, really admire and really love and, and incorporate into my designs. So you can find me on Instagram at Studio NS, that's Studio and then E-N-A-S-S, because -S, I know sometimes some people might find that hard to pronounce, but yes. Uh, and I'm also on TikTok, uh, Studio NS, and of course my website at www.studionas.com. <laughs>